the definition of a state pattern says alter a object's behavior when its state changes what does that mean let's discuss with an example let's take the example of a fan wall control for example in india we have these fan wall controls with different levels so if the fan wall control is at level 1 the fan rotates at a certain speed and let's say if it's at level 5 it rotates at the maximum speed possible when i rotate the knob when i rotate the fan wall control knob from level 1 to level 2 there is a change in the behavior of that particular object which is the fan so the fan rotates faster state of the fan wall control right now is level 2 and i call a rotate method the state goes to state 3 and if i do again a rotate the state goes to state 4 so depending on the earlier state the next state is decided so in these kind of situations we represent the state of the object as a separate class let's see a quick java example what we have is a static class which is a fan wall control with a speed level composed in it so this fan wall control has the speed level in it speed level is an interface which has four different implementations of speed level 1 2 and 3 and if the fan is off and i click a rotate what does hap what it happens the new state changes to speed level 1 and if it's speed level 1 i do the rotate it goes to speed level 2 speed level 3 i would go to speed level sorry from 2 i would go to 3 and from 3 if i do it again i'll go to off so this is kind of an implementation where we are actually pulling off the state of the particular thing so the state is the current speed level so speed level 1 speed level 2 speed level 3 are different states in which the fan level fan wall control can be what we are doing is we are making this state a specific class on its own and thereby the fan wall controller does not need to know about what the current state is so it just says speed level current and whenever somebody calls rotate it delegates the rotate call to the speed control so thereby what happens is if i add in a new speed level all that i need to do is define a fifth speed level or a fourth speed level and implement the rotate method this is a very good example of having extensible classes in the example which we looked at based on the level at which that particular object is in the behavior changes so if it's at level one because we are now switching to a different implementation of that interface the behavior change thanks for joining more than a million students who are learning from us at in 28 minutes we defined a learning roadmap for java and front-end developers we created more than 25 courses covering all the topics that you are seeing on the screen there are four things you can do to make best use of these courses number one is udemy you'll find a link in the description of the video to our udemy profile we are teaching a lot of courses on udemy and most of them are free number two visit our website www.in28minutes.com you'd find tons of information including how you can register for our trainings and the link to udemy and our github code as well number three visit our github repository with more than 20 repositories covering varied examples it's a comprehensive source of information and code. Last but not the least, you'll find a set of discount codes for all our Udemy courses in the description as well. Feel free to use them. Good luck from the team here at In28Minutes, your destination for high quality step-by-step -step courses.